All right, so we live in Southern Ontario, Canada, and all our vehicles rot away. We've got 15-year-old vehicles, and newer and anything older has rust and holes in it. So uh, we had a friend, uh, Mike Burrows from Stanceworks YouTube channel. He posted on his Instagram saying, um, I have this truck for sale because I don't have time to get to it. It's got an awesome patina. The rust is very minimal. I'm thinking about selling it. So I talked to my uh, editor. Uh, Aaron and said what do you think about buying this building it out in California and then road tripping at home over the course of the winter uh, we flew down three times at super cheap flights for us to go from Ontario to Vegas so about $80 Canadian about 50 US so it made sense to fly to Vegas we bought a support vehicle a 95 uh, OBS Chevy and then left that in Vegas and we drove back and forth to California um, once right after SEMA. So we went to SEMA, then we went down and started working on the truck. So this truck was originally owned by a guy who owned a, a mechanic shop. So he bought it new and uh, he actually uh, pulled the inline six out and put a 283 in it and actually went drag racing with it. So kind of neat. It's got blue lights under the dash. So it was already like being souped up way back in the 50s and 60s. So he sold his business in the 70s, I believe, and he sold his truck along with it. So he sold it to a uh, arborist. So there's a giant a pintle hitch on the back, which he pulled his wood chipper with. And then there's a grate on the back window because he blew all the wood chips into the back of the truck. They sold it to a winery in the 80s, and the last time it was on the road was 1984. And they didn't do anything with it. They just parked it out back, and that's where it sat. So the hood's a little dented, and so was the roof. A couple of those popped out because the, the owner's son was big into WWE. So he was jumping off of uh, skids, landing on the hood, doing his body slams and that. And then they also used it as target practice. So the windshield was all cracked. You can see the bullet hole in the passenger window. The entire box is riddled with bullets. And the original owner's grandson tried to find it again. So he went on Facebook and took him about six months trying to track down all these different people to find out where the truck was. And he found it behind the winery again and he was the one that bought it back. So unfortunately he got deployed to Japan and he couldn't build it uh, before um, he got deployed. So when we bought it, within a week, he got a hold of us and said, that was my grandfather's truck and I am so thrilled that you guys are doing something with that. It would have been right up his alley because my grandfather probably would have done the same thing. Put a bigger engine in it, put some nice wheels and tires on it and go drive it, go, go enjoy this ride. So um, really neat to bring this one back to life again and enjoy it for another 40 years. Blew the whole truck apart. We grafted the 71 Camaro subframe into the, into the 55 frame. Um, and then put an entire QA1 suspension for the 71 Camaro on that. So we had nice tight uh, suspension. We put a Borgeson tight ratio steering box on it. And then we put a Heights four link on the back and put a Ford nine inch in the back, which was the right width for our stance that we were going for. In the meantime, we built a 6.8 Stroker LS at home with SCAT internals and AFR heads. So now it's a 6.8 LS Stroker. We built that at home. We shipped that to California and then installed that with a couple friends in our friend's driveway. So we got it running. We put our clutch in, transmission, had our drive shaft made, put the brakes on it, and then wired the truck and basically finished it just in time to uh, hit up LS Fest West. From there, we enjoyed the show. We parked it there, flew home again. Flew back again in time for LS Fest Texas. We drove to Texas, um, hung out with Emily and Aaron from Flying Sparks Garage. At that point, we had about 2,000 miles on it. Basically just looked over the truck, made sure that everything uh, was right. There's a couple things rubbing and that we had to clearance a little bit and just retorqued everything, make sure that we were safe. And then from there, we flew home again after LS Fest Texas. Then we flew back to Texas um, a week ago and we did power tour with it. So we drove it again from Texas to Atlanta, Georgia. And here we are in Ohio. And from here we'll be driving home. So right now we have just shy of 4,000 miles on it, but we'll be over that by the time we get home. So it's been a really, really fun trip. Uh, the truck has actually been flawless. It hasn't given us any issues uh, other than a little bit of tire rubbing on the back uh, during some really bumpy roads. The, uh, the battery's in the toolbox, so the weight of it was just kind of hitting the, the tires on some bad bumps, and, and that was it. No other issues.